Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for February 4th of 2024 is titled the Cone Nebula from Hubble. So what do we see here? Well, here we see the nebula known as the Cone Nebula, and we see the cone kind of pointing up here off in the distance. And the point of the cone tends to point up towards stars which are shaping this nebula. So newly formed stars emit a lot of energy and they will push away at the dust and gas. And that's what's happening here. The cone here is the denser material that is holding up longer against the energy of those stars. The less dense material around it has already been pushed away. So we have the denser region here, which is where stars will will continue to form. Now, while it may look relatively small, the top of the cone here is actually two and a half light years across. That means it would take light two and a half years to get from one side of that peak to the other. And that compared to the nearest star Alpha Centauri would be four light years away from Earth. So that is a good chunk of the way between Earth and the Sun and our nearest stellar companion in this area. So give you an idea a sense of scale there. Now stretching back behind it would be darker regions and that's not an absence of material that is a denser region. It's not being illuminated by the hotter stars yet and in within that stars are continuing to form. So that the star forming process continues. So as stars form, they eat away at the material, the denser bits remain still trying to form stars. And it becomes a battle between those stars forming and trying to form before the rest of that material gets pushed away. So the rest of this will eventually get eaten away by the energy of hot stars. And the star doing this would be off the edge of the image not visible here, but emitting enough energy that it shapes the entire uh, design of this nebula. Now what how many more stars will form? Well, that's a very good question. And we don't know it depends on how fast things get pushed away by that star though that star or those stars that have already formed. They are working at clearing this out and slowly eroding away at this nebula. At the same time within it stars are trying to form and we'll see eventually which one ends up for doing its job first. Do the stars form some of them at least before the nebula gets eaten away? Or does this get all pushed away with no additional stars forming? What we do know is that in the long run, there will be a new cluster of stars here that is in the process of forming now. And while we we'll say this will eventually form a new cluster of stars, we are still talking long times before this happens, we would need to come back hundreds of thousands of years from now to actually see what has formed from what we see as the cone nebula today. So that was our picture of the day for February 4th of 2024. It was titled the cone nebula from Hubble. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Karina's crazy core. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.